Welcome to the Nativo Shalom Shir on talking about the subject of Shabbos. We're going to be learning from the second volume of the Nativo Shalom, this particular volume here, volume Beit, and we're learning the part on page Tzadi Hay 95, which is entitled Mora Shabbos Umora Mikdash, the uh, fear, reverence of, of Shabbos and the reverence of the the Holy Beis HaMikdash. It's an interesting concept when you talk about fear of God, Yerash Shemayim. Uh, what does that mean? Does it mean reverence? Does it mean to be afraid? Uh, does it mean a specific kind of respect? Uh, and how does that fit in with the love of Shemayim, with the love of God? How do you equate the two together? And we know that just as a... As a Quick introduction, in the morning, uh, shortly after we get up, we say, Reish is Chachma Yiras Hashem. The first part of wisdom is the fear of Hashem, or the reverence of Hashem. And yet we know that, that Shabbos is a day of total love of Hashem for the Bnei Israel. So in this, this particular uh, section, the Nativo Chom is going to talk about how there is a very important component of fear and reverence on Shabbos, uh, and we'll we'll see what, what he says. It, it's an interesting concept to uh, to look at the two of these. So he starts out Isa Bezohar Kodesh. It says in the Holy Zohar, the word Bereshis. The Torah starts with the word Bereshis in the beginning, and the word Bereshis consists of of six letters, as you see, and it says Bereshis. Othiot Yirat Shabbos. If you take the letters of the word of Bereshis and turn them around, you spell Yirat Shabbos, the reverence or fear of Shabbos. Uva Sefer Yireim, and in the Sefer Yireim, Kasavi, it's written, Kashem Shetziva Kodesh Borchu, Laseis Mora Lemiktosh. Just as Hashem commanded us to have fear and reverence for the holy Beis HaMikdash, for the Mishkan before it became the Beis before, before the Beis HaMikdash was built later, Kach Tziva Kodesh Borchu Lotet Mora Shabbos. so too, just as God commanded uh, the fear for the Mikdash, uh, for the, the holy sanctuary, so too did he command the fear of Shabbos. Shari Hukshu Zelazeh, because they're connected. Shabbos and the Mikdash are connected. How do we know that? Tichsev, because the Torah tells us, as Shabsosai Tishmoru, you shall keep my Sabbaths, Umikdashai Tiro, and my sanctuary, my base of Mikdash, you shall fear. Ani Hashem. I am Hashem. So we see them in the same in the same posik, the, the question of fearing the Mikdash. The, the holiness of the Mikdash and the fearing of Hashem. Is that the Makor also for the Yerat HaMikdash? That is the Makor for the Yerat HaMikdash, yes. Okay. Mikdash Yitiro. Okamo is similarly. Shiba Mikdash, Omer Chazal. And since the, our holy sages tell us, Lo mina Mikdash at You don't have to be afraid of the, the base of Mikdash. It's not, that's not what it's talking about fear, but it says... Ela mimi shetziva al hamikdash, to to that entity that commanded us to do a mikdash, and who is that entity? Of course, it's God. Kamo kasev Shabbos, and similarly with Shabbos, when we we talk about fear of Shabbos, we're talking about fear of Hashem, reverence of Hashem in connection with Shabbos. Vzo mitzvah miyochedet b'fnei atzmo, and this is a a specific mitzvah by itself. Specific mitzvah of fearing Shabbos, reverence for Shabbos, Shiu Yira Shabbos, Milvad Etza Mitzvah Shabbos, because the fear and reverence of Shabbos is separate from the aspect, the main aspect of, of Shabbos. So you have a double double mitzvah there. We have a mitzvah to keep Shabbos, you have a mitzvah not to do anything bad, you have a mitzvah to do those things that are good, but you also have a mitzvah to, to have Yira Shabbos, fear of Shabbos. The Gemara Isa and the Gemara Yivoma says Al It says in the Torah, in Devorim, it says Laman Tilmad 
know that you may learn liyira to fear. That's Hashem Elokecha Kol Yomim to fe- learn to fear your God all of the all of your days. And then the Gemara goes on to explain what does that mean, because it says. Shabbos, it says, it says, kol uh, hayamim. What what does the, the plural kol hayamim mean? So it says, elu shabbos v'yomim tovim. This means to fear uh, and have reverence for for Shabbos and the the holidays. V'alfin and zos, and we learn this. Meomer, as it says, kol hayamim. Hainu hayamim hayiduim. This means specific, specific days that we know about. Therefore, we see there is some aspect of fear and reverence on, on Shabbos and on, on Yom Tov. We have to understand what is this, the unique thing that is with these two, two specific commandments? Shabbos and Mikdash. Shabbos and, and the Holy Mikdash. Sheyesh b'hem mitzvah miyuchedes, because there's a there's in these two mitzvahs, with Shabbos and Mikdash, a unique commandment, shall mora Shabbos, umora Mikdash, a unique commandment of fearing Shabbos and fearing the the Holy Tabernacle, yoter mibishar mibishar mitzvahs, more than any other any other commandments. The lechura. Halo b'chol ha-mitzvos. Certainly, in, we know in every mitzvos, tzorich liyira, you have to be afraid. Pen lo yikaimu b'shleimu. So maybe you won't complete the mitzvah perfectly. Uh, in fact, we learned we learned last week, I, I quoted a, a Torah that uh, Shlomo Katz gave the name of Rabbi Shlomo Karbach that said, uh, if you get out of shul, you get out of doing a mitzvah, you think, "Ah, oh, I've really done it. I've done a good job." He says, "You're, you're wrong." He says, "You should, you should get out, feeling that, you should be, you should feel feeling that you didn't do a thing. You didn't accomplish what you had to do." Uh, they tell the story of, uh, I think it was the original Rebbe. The original Rebbe once, and this was this was told last week. The original Rebbe once found himself in a city of misnagdim, not chasidim. And he went to daven with them, and in the morning and after the davening, the uh, Musnagdim all got up to go study Torah, and the Rishoner went up to have a lachayim and to eat some food. And they asked him, he "says What are you doing? How can you? We just finished davening. You have to go study Torah. How can you do this now?" And he he, he says he says to them, he says, "Look, you feel that you've accomplished something with your davening. Me, I know I accomplished nothing. So I need a drink and some food to strengthen me." <laughs> And it's that's that it's a very important key. We oftentimes think that oh we've done it, we can do it. We've done it right. No, uh, when you think that you haven't done it right, then you're you're spurred on. You know, don't be satisfied with where you are. Uh, the, the whole job of a human being, different than an angel. An angel is not a mahalech. An angel stays in one spot. We human beings have to be moving upwards. So Abir, the explanation is lefisha mitzvos elu. And these mitzvahs of Shabbos and Mikdash, yesh pohen hashros hashchina kenomer leel. We have in the mitzvah of both, both the base of Mikdash and in Shabbos the revelation of the presence of God, as we've said above in previous in previous studies. I don't understand the distinction that he made between before he said it's not actually the Mikdash or actually Shabbat that we are fearing. It's he who commanded it. He who it. commanded it or he who made it. Right. So what's the Oh, he says, "What it's talking about is reverence and fear of God." Right. Fear of and God. Now fear he seems to be putting it back in the mikdash and the Shabbat itself, as opposed to in the mitzvot themselves, as opposed to God. Because the mitzvah liyirai Hashem elokecha is there all the time, irrelevant of whether it's Shabbat or Yom Tov. Well, yes, except we have a specific mitzvah on on the on the mikdash uh, three times a year to go there and see the presence of God. And the word yira is also could be either see or to fear the presence of God. So it's not fearing the mikdash, it's fearing the presence of God. So it ties in exactly what he said. Shabbos also. Shabbos we have every day. And he's saying Shabbos, you have to fear from God. And he's going to talk about what, what the fear is basically. 
fear that you're not doing it right. Fear that, the rec maybe it's even the recognition, it's not the correct trans translation of the word, but maybe that's what it means, the recognition that you because could do more. Because you have more mitzvot to do on Shabbat than Yom Tov, then you have to therefore fear Hashem more, because there is more that you can do wrong, kind of thing? Yeah, I'm not sure of that, <laughs> or maybe the fact that uh, you have an opportunity on Shabbat to to experience the love between God and B'nai Yisrael. And if you're, you're, you're worried that you're going to do something to help you make you fall short of experiencing that love. Not so much the, the mitzvahs that you have to do, because the real mitzvah of Shabbos is be in Shabbos, enjoy Shabbos. That's, that's the mitzvah of Shabbos. But if you're not doing it with your whole heart, if it's just like another day of the week, it's like a day you're trying to get rid of, you're looking to get look at the stars afterwards to see when it's over, uh, then you're falling short. So maybe that that's what it's talking about. So we have you have to uh, condition yourself so as not to uh, not to get into a a, a rote situation to just ah oh, it's Shabbos okay here's Shabbos and tomorrow's Sunday and we'll just go out and do what we have to do. Um, it's, it's the fear. It's the fear of not recognizing Hashem at the level that you can recognize Him or uh, or I, honor I, Him at. I, I think that's part of it. I think that's definitely part of it. So he says, and here, here's the difference he points out: Beis Hamikdash and the Holy Beis Hamikdash, who Hashrat Hashchina b'Makom, the presence of God appears in that place. Shabbos, and Shabbos, he hashrat hashchina bizman. Shabbos, the appearance of God, is based on time. We've taken time, and we put kedusha, we put holiness into time, and that, of course, is the that's the whole concept of the Jew being being compared to the moon. Uh, the moon teaches us the holiness of time, that we we understand that. You know, when in the in the olden days before we had calendars, uh, it was the best din. It was the best din who would listen to witnesses to say, "I saw the moon in this particular shape," and then they declare, "Now it's Rosh Chodesh," and that's how they declare the the holiday. So they declared the holiness through time. Uh, the the job of a Jew is to is to make time holy, not just to pass time or to waste time, but to make time holy, and the. Uh, uh, and that, that's what Shabbos is. Shabbos is a time of holiness. Uh, the whole you're surrounded. You're surrounded by by Shab, by by Shabbos. You're surrounded by holiness, just as you are when you're when you're in Eretz Yisrael. When you're in Eretz Yisrael, you're surrounded by the holiness of Eretz Yisrael. Uvachomakom, and every place sheish hashras hashchina. Wherever you have the the uh, appearance of the, the presence of God. Yesh mitzvos yira. There's a mitzvah to fear the yira to be afraid. to be afraid of the presence of God. Od yesh lomer can also be said. I'll pee the e yira. The word yira fear osios ria have the same letters as the word ria to see, to see. The shoresh hayira. The, the root of of fear is who kishi Yehudi roe begodlus habore when a Jew sees the greatness of Hashem ayide zeb ba and through this by seeing the greatness of Hashem he comes to to fear him or to see him depending which which way you're interpreting that Colossian Akasuv and as the the prophet says in Yeshayahu. Veniska Hashem Levado, Bayom Hahu, and talks about the end of times is when Hashem will finally be recognized as the king of the world, and all the evildoers, Ubo Bamaros, Tsurim, Mechilos, Afrobim Ne Pachet Hashem, Umehadir Ono. All of the evildoers will be trying to hide out in tunnels and caves to avoid the wrath, the wrath of Hashem. But and, but you you'll understand the, the fear of Hashem at that. And from this beer, we can understand at tefillah, as we say in the Shemon Esra, just before Modim, we say, There we shall be able to serve you in yira, in fear, and in reverence. Just like previous days 
and former years. Ki a base of Migdash, he mokum because the base of Migdash was the place of, of Yira, of, of fear. I mean, you certainly, you know, the Havdil, Elif Halafim, to, to uh, you can't even make the comparison, but what, what is being done today on the, the Harabait, the place of the base of Migdash, where they have soccer games and picnics and trash and everything else. In the days of the base of Migdash, it was a holy place, it was a place to be feared, it was a place to be treated with specific reverence. Not everybody could walk in certain places. You couldn't just be wandering around. You were limited as to where, where you could go and how you could go and so on and how you could even walk up there. Uh, even to go into the into the, uh, the four corners of the base of Migdash, you had to have your shoes off, etc. A lot of preparation before. That's a makumayira. The Isa, the Sefer Shari it says in this Sefer, the Rabbeinu Yona from the Rabbeinu Yoma, Rabbi Yona, he says, she base of Migdash, the base of Migdash at every time and in every hour, every minute of its existence was Kedugmat Har Sinai. It was like, like the example of, of Mount Sinai, the Ace Matan Torah, at the time the Torah was given. The Inyan Kavod the aspect of honor and respect for the holy presence of God. If you, if you recall, when the Torah was given, uh, it was given. There was there was fear and trembling that was given to the people, uh, and people. In fact, when when the first uh, the first aleph of Anochi Hashem Lokecha was heard, uh, there there midrash says that the people were were kicked back a distance of twelve mil, and they basically a, a large distance, and basically lost their lives. And the angels had to re restore their lives. Sham in a place where the presence of God is dwelling, that's where fear comes in. This was the aspect of the great fear at the, the, the receiving of the Torah. And this is the same thing with fear of the Mikdash. And this is the same thing with, with Shabbos. Shaba Efshar Lizakot, you're able to, to merit Lirot Begdolos Habore to see the greatness of Hashem, Motsinuba Bechinat Yira, that you can find through the aspect of, of fear and reverence of Hashem. Brother Nama Cholom Shahakol Nebi Varok. Amnam Tzorach Levar. So we really have to explain this. Although Shabbos he makor ahava. Shabbos is the, the, the basis of Shabbos is love. The De'isa B'Sifre Kodesh, as the holy books tell us, Sheba Shabbos Kodesh, Tzorich Lavodas Hashem Yisborach B'mida Hava. On Shabbos you have to serve Hashem with the quality of love. Because we've talked about before how Shabbos is like is like the wedding ceremony between Hashem and Bnei Yisrael and the three parts of Shabbos where you first have the chuppah, you first have the Kedushin on Friday night and then you have the chuppah uh, on, on Shabbos morning and then Shalashidas as you're finally taking the, the bride and groom go into Yichud together, into a room together and they're together, the unification with one and the other. So it's the whole aspect is one of love. It's a whole love scene. Uh Uva Sefer Bnei Yisachar, and the Bnei Yisachar, in Kosov, it's written, the Tevas Shabbos, the, that the word Shabbos, Shin Beit Tov, Ola Begematria, has a numerical value, and the, of, 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 of Ahava Bechal Lev, love with all your heart, Ahava Bechal Nefesh, love with all of your, your, your person, your soul, Ahava b'chol moed, ahava with love with everything that you have. And if you look at it, that's interesting. The word Shabbos has a numerical value of 702. And if you add up the the letters of those those three phrases, they total 702. And that's the, you know, gematria is a, is a thing that is used by, in Kabbalah and Hasidus, uh, to give an, an extra drush, an extra explanation on things. So here you can see with, with the gematria, 
And we know that nothing is just by chance. I mean, how does it happen that this yeah, this gematria happens to come out to these these three phrases and talking about love, uh, uh, love with all the heart, love with all your soul, love with all with everything you have, as referring to Shabbos. I mean, it's not just it's just Tom happening. And what amazes me is that these gematrias, you know, in the time of the Bnei Yisachar, uh they didn't have computers. They couldn't they couldn't just go through uh, and just figure out what the gematrias were. They had to do it all by hand. It's amazing. And, you know, the Balaturim is, is well known for gematrias, and it's way before the age of computers. And it's just, it's, it's mind-blowing when you think of the gematrias they came up, came up with without the, without the aid of a computer. So, but then he, then he goes on to say, he says, okay, we have Shabbos. The, the letters talk about love with all your heart, love with all your soul, love with as much as you can. He says, V'zeh soter l'chura l'yira Shabbos. This seems to contradict the concept of fear on Shabbos. As we, we, we started to say at the beginning, how do you have both fear and love at the same time in existing? I mean, if you love somebody, how do you fear them? If you fear somebody, how do you love them? Binyan zed, tzorech biur, you have to explain this. Not only with Shabbos, but also with the holiness of the of the holy Mikdash, the base of Mikdash. Shari HaMikdash Hayu Makum Ahava. Because what was the base of Mikdash? It was a place of the great love. Bein HaKadosh Baruch Hu of Yisrael, between God and Yisrael. Komer Chazal. As our sages said in the Gemara Bava Basra, and we know this, we know this from, from the, the story of Tishba when the the temple was destroyed. We know Shibizban she Israel Osim Ratsono Shal Makom. At the time that the Jews are doing the will of Hashem, Hayu Hakruvim Orim Zebazeh. The Kruvim, the cherubs, are embracing the cherubs on top of the Aron were embracing one another. Hamora Agadol Haflegat Havas Hashem Yisrael teaches us the, the great love that Hashem had for Bnei Yisrael. Nimtza, we see, imkain shamikdash midasu ahava, that the whole aspect of the base of Mikdash was love, because that was the, the basis of it. Pai dezeh, tzorach beer, because this we have to explain, gama matan Torah, also in matan Torah, when the Torah was given, we received the Torah, domer chazal, as chazal said, it was, this is brought down in Gemara Bruchas, shenit na Torah be'ema of yira over etat the Torah was given to us with with uh, fear and and trembling and uh, quaking and shaking uh, reverence. And it says, says on the sick on the third day in the morning, there was thunder and lightning and so on. And the people were trembling, all the people in the camp ready to receive the Torah were trembling. So we see that the preparation for receiving the Torah was fear and trembling. And from this we find Shidorshim Chazal, as Chazal have explained to us, Alapasik on the sentence from Shlomo HaMelech, Tsena uh, Varena, go and see Benos Tzion, the daughters of Tzion, Bemelech Shlomo, King of Shlomo, Vagomer, and so on. So Yom Chatono, the day of his wedding, Zem Matan Torah. This is the day of Hashem's wedding to Bnei Israel. Is Matan Torah the time of receiving the Torah? Yom Simchas Libo, Zeb Binyan Beis Megiddo. The day of of his heart being being joyful is the building of the Beis Megiddo. Vahainu Shematan Torah. So we see that Matan the Matan Torah receiving the Torah. Who bechinas Yom. Hatuno, it's like the wedding day, Shuhumida Sahaba, which is the aspect of love, the quality of love on the wedding day. If that's the case, if it's only a, a quality of love and everything's given out of love, what is the aspect of, of fear? How does that fit in there? Before we explain, at the beginning of the Holy Zohar, it says, Pekuda Kadma the Yira Hashem, Pekuda Tanina the Ahavas Hashem. It says the first thing you need, you need first fear of God in order to have love of God. 
a beer, and the explanation is Madu Apakuda Kadma Yers Hashem. Why does why do you need fear first uh, before love? He says Ki Adam, a person who Basar Adam is 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 flesh and blood, Korotz Mechomer Achomriot Shabo Moshchosol Avos Acheros. A person flesh and blood is is encompassed with the materiality that that surrounds him. Causing him to love other things, to love uh, not spiritual things, but to love material things, to love things, to want things for the purpose of getting things. Paul Cain, therefore, it's impossible to begin from love of Hashem because your love is, is diverted somewhere else. You're loving the car, you're loving the TV, you're loving this, you're loving that, you're loving whatever, whatever gives you pleasure. You're loving that instead of Hashem. Says you can't. How can you? How can you love Hashem while you're still totally immersed in love of material things, and you don't let the spirituality of Hashem come into your life? Well, therefore, as I said earlier, uh, when we say in the morning, the first step to wisdom is the fear of Hashem. Through fear of Hashem, that purifies the the worldliness around you. The Komer Chazal, as our sages say in Gemara Nida, Charada Meslakekas Hadamim, Meslakekas Hadamim. Sorry, uh, trembling uh, uh, makes the blood leave. It has has an effect on your your physical physical body. Hayira. Mesalekes hasadam hatame, fear pushes out the impure blood sheba adam that's in a person who mitaras also and and purifies him. Ba'achikach and after that, once he goes through this purification process, yochol lahasi gama havas Hashem. Then he can come to a, an aspect and be successful in loving Hashem. Rav Akoda shamagid agol bemezrit. This is Chosyon Lein Omar. The the mezrit shemagid said as follows. Shehudi tzorech lishtadel litamets liknos bilvavo yirat Hashem. A Jew has to really work hard and try to to acquire in his heart fear of Hashem, because once he does that, he says ki oz then yitnu lo mina shemayim b'matana. Once he has acquired a fear of Hashem, he's acquired that for himself, meaning that he's he's putting Hashem on a higher level than, than the, the Gashmius things he's looking at, meaning that he's, he's concerned about pleasing Hashem. Once he's done that, then Hashem, Hashem will give him as a present, as a present, the love of Hashem, as, as a gift. And the explanation of this, Hashem is that fear of God purifies the blood, Bachomer and the, the worldliness, the materiality around you, Vaz Masugal, and then you are prepared, Masugal Hu Lavas Hashem, to love to love God. And through these things, Yuvin, we can understand Inyan Hamora Bamatan Torah, the aspect of, of fear at the time of the Torah being given, Torah being received. Kilohi Yoholim Lakabilata Torah. Jews were not able to receive the Torah, except through the trembling of all of the people that were in the camp. This, this trembling, this fear, purified them to make them ready, to make them uh, suitable to receive the Torah. Kamokain, who in Yiras Shabbos. So too is the aspect of the fear of Shabbos. Yiras HaShabbos Mezakekas Mutaharas Yehudi. Fear of Shabbos purifies and cleanses uh, a, a, a Jew. Sha'ayidei Zeh Yerui Musugal Ahavas Hashem. Through this, he'll be fitting to to come to the level of love of, of, of Hashem. Shi Tzumu Shil Shabbos. Because as we learned, Many, many times the main important ingredient ingredient of Shabbos is the love between Hashem and B'nai Israel, And you want to reach that. 
So you're trying to get rid of all of the things that interfere with you trying to reach that higher level. And this is what the Holy Baal Shem Tov said, to when he explains what it says in the Gemara, a very strange statement, somebody who dies, Erev Shabbos, it's a great sign, great sign for him. So what is, how does he explain that? He says, He says you have to come into Shabbos, just like a, a dead person, meaning meaning that you've you've given up everything in this world. You're not being attached to things in this world. You're leaving all the materiality of this world behind you. Uh, and Hashem completed the heavens and the earth. Uh, that's how you have to feel, that everything you've done is completed. It's done. It's not coming into Shabbos with you. Don't take the weekday into Shabbos with you. That's what it's saying. So when you're, when you're doing that, that that's, that's what he means. It's like a person dies and leaves everything behind. Going into Shabbos, you're leaving all that week behind, all of the, all of the, the materiality of the week. And you, you reach this, this level. When you awaken inside of you, the fear of Hashem. And this is a good sign by which to enter into Shabbos. Without this, how can a person, a shakua b'chomer, who's just so totally immersed in all the worldliness, to come into the holiness of Shabbos? And this is what the Holy Zohar means when he says, Bereshis Yira Shabbos. He takes the words of the word Bereshis and takes out in the two words, fear of Shabbos. Bereshis haknisa le Shabbos Kodesh. The beginning to get into Shabbos. Ishia yira Shabbos has to be the fear of Shabbos. Bezegam inyan mora mikdash. And this is also the same aspect as the fear of the Beis HaMikdash. Shayira kodemes. The fear comes first. Umachasheros es adam, and and purifies a person, the midas ahava, to come to the level of ahava. Ahava is the level of love. That's the level you want to you want to achieve. You want to aspire to, and you get there by first having a, a recognition and having a fear uh, of God, of the Creator, uh, and basically leaving behind the the the. Homer, the worldliness of the week. Odiavor al pimashomer bisod hash bisod bisod. I forget the name of it. I always forget that name. One of the Hasidic books. Sheish kol kach madregos There is there is such a thing as a level of of fear. What does he mean by fear? He's explaining now what what he thinks fear means. Yir haonish. Fear of doing something, fear of punishment, fear of being punished for what you're doing wrong. And more than a fear of punishment is yiras chet, the fear of, of sinning, the fear of doing something wrong. And above that is yiras haromemus, the fear of, of the, the holiness, begin to ihu rabashalit, knowing that Hashem is the, is the master and and ruler of the whole world. She says, Ach yesh madrega od yoser gavoa. There's even a higher level than this. She yira merov ahava. You're fearing from, from so much, you, you have become fearful from so much love. The yoter gavoa mehava, and that's even greater than love. As we, we say in, in, initially, uh, I, I am lovesick for you. You, you, get, you get so... You become so in love with Hashem on Shabbos that you, it's almost painful. You can't live, you can't live without it. So you love, you love so much Hashem. You're so in love with Hashem that what are you afraid of? You're afraid that you're going to do something that is against Hashem's will. Pentif gam in some way that you will 
you will ruin the love between you and Hashem. When you love somebody, you want to do only what is good for them. You don't want to do anything that's going to hurt them. And you're always afraid. You stumble, you do something wrong. You don't want to do you don't want to do anything to affect the relationship. What you want to do is always out of love, always out of love for a person. And that's the fear, he says. We have to fear that you know, maybe we're not doing it right. Maybe though, despite our intentions, we're not doing it right. And that's the fear we have because that fear then could interfere with our love between us and Hashem. Aldasha Hebi Shamas is brought there. Bashem Hashla, the holy the name of the holy Shla. Uh, the greatest love is the, to fear that you should do something to impair this connection of love and, and connectivity with Hashem. And through this, all of, of the aspects of the service of Hashem will be sweetened to fulfill the, the will of Hashem, so that your deeds will be good. What you'll be doing will be good in the, in the eyes of your beloved. And you'll be afraid. And you're, you're fearful that maybe there may even be a moment or two, a quick moment, that you're doing something against Hashem's will. That you, because of what you're doing, you won't be favored, find, find favor in Hashem's eyes. Because of what you're doing. And this is the, the fear that comes from the greatness of love. The greatness of love, as he's saying, is that you don't want to do anything to, to impair it. You want to, uh, not that you have to walk on eggshells, but you want to conduct yourself in a way that's fitting for the love that you have. Adkan. Zahir hazos, this fear, he says, bepnimios hi yahava. The internal fear, this internal fear, this is really love. She'enu mefachim onshim. You're not afraid of punishment, hudoma, and similar things. El pachto ha'gadol biyoter, your greatest fear is hupen yivkom biyahava, maybe that you will do something to uh, injure the love, she'ben ha'kodesh baruch Yisrael, between Hashem and Bnei Yisrael. V'zeh inyan mora Shabbos. And this is the aspect of fear of Shabbos. Da'hainu b'chinas yira. It's the aspect of fear. Pentifkam chas v'shom ha'avah. That maybe you will mess up the love that you have between you and Hashem. Chmokein. So inyan mora mikdash. This also is the aspect of the of the base of mikdash. The fear of the base of mikdash. V'aimah v'hayira b'matan Torah. And the, the, the fear and the reverence at giving of the Torah. Shishoresh kalun yaimu eila, the the root of all these things. Who godol ahava is the greatness of love. Shabbat shalom, Kodesh Baruch Hu Yisrael between God and Yisrael. Ayirhu, ayirhi, machmas ahavas, the 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 fear is because of your love. Shalom tivkam chas v'shalom that you shouldn't do anything wrong to interfere with with that with that love. And he goes on his last paragraph. And for this last paragraph, I want to give you these little, little Zemiro's books. And have you turn to page 18. And page 18 is a, is a song that is written by Rav Aaron Karlin, Ya Echsof. Ya Echsof Noam Shabbos. And Let's just take a look at the general meaning of what this says, and then we'll see what he says about it. Okay. Uh, I, I was fortunate to be able to find a, a modern Hebrew translation through Wikipedia, <laughs> because without it, it'd be hard to understand all these words. But this is what Rav Aaron of Carlin wrote. He says, Ya Echsof Noam Shabbos. He says, God, we know you're desiring to feel the, the, the joy of Shabbos that uh, is fitting uh, with uh, your people, B'nai Yisrael, your treasure, B'nai Yisrael. 
says, He says, Please continue the joy. Bring this joy from the fear of heaven that your, your people have. That want, that want to do your will, your holy will, with the holiness of Shabbos. Because with the holiness of Shabbos, you unify it with, with the Holy Torah. And patach lehem noam v'ratzen livtoch shari v'tsonech. And you, you open before them the joy and the service of, of God uh, and the desire to serve you. It says, Haya hove shomer shomer matzapim Shabbos kodshecha. It says, in the present and in the past, those who, who keep Shabbos and are always looking for the Holy Shabbos. What are they like? They're like Ka'ayl Tarog al Mayim. They're like a, a, a deer uh, that is, is thirsty and, and is looking for a, a spring to, to quench the thirst. He says, Kein nafsham Tarog al Kabo Kedushas Shabbos HaMisachtes Meshem He says, So too, our souls are wanting to merit the pleasureness of uh, the pleasure of Shabbos that comes from you. That and then it says, Hatzel me acharei lifrosh min Shabbos, levilti tias sogur mehem shish yomim makablim kedushim Shabbos kodshecha. He says, Hashem, he says, save and and keep those who are uh, who separate themselves on Shabbos. So they shouldn't be far from you, just like the other days of the week. It says, He says, All of, all of the Jews uh, are nourished from the holiness of Shabbos, and you purify their hearts through the service, through truth and, and faith. Giving the pronouns, he says, your, your, your mercy becomes strong over the, the aspect of judgment. Your mercy becomes greater than the judgment. Alam Yisrael, An Bnei Yisrael, Lashkos has Yisrael Atzmeim to, to water, so to speak, the thirsty people Bnei Yisrael Akabel, Hashafot Vachazde Shuaim to receive the reward of the kindness of heaven. Minara Shefa Haruchni Hoelyon from the river from which is flowing the, the holy spirituality of above. Latir Lafar Beshefa Lukai to to crown everybody with the with the reward of uh, of Hashem. As Yisrael of and it says the Bnei Yisrael who uh, glorify your name through the keeping of Shabbos all the days of the week. So you should give for them uh, an inheritance the, uh, of the reward that is given to Yaakov Avinu, who is your, your chosen one. And the last paragraph says, Shabbos is the, the pleasure of the neshama, and it's, it's, it's a uh, joy uh, and, and something sweet for the, for the soul. Uh, To, to have the joy of the, the, the love of Shabbos, love of, love of Hashem, through Shabbos Kodesh. And it says, My nafshi cholas that's the, that's the, the phrase from, from Mishli. My, my soul is, is sick, is sick for my love for you. Shabbos Kodesh, holy Shabbos, nafshos Yisrael, chosim, betzial kanfecha, the souls of, of Bnei Yisrael are taking shelter in the shelter of your wings, froim, yirvam midashem yisecha, and they're they're uh, grazing on the, the grass of your house, and they're they're taking your great reward. Now, what what does he say about that? Keep that keep that page open for just a minute more. But he says, I'm just going to go to back to the Tiber Shalom. Mazesh Shomer, Bazemer, Yoach Sof, Meshoch Noam Yirasecha. What does it mean? No Noam Vayira. He says, 
pleasure and fear, heim lechura tarte desatri, they seem contradictory one to the other. Shim yesh yira, ein noam, if there's fear, there's no pleasure. Shim yesh noam, ein yira, if there's pleasure, there's no fear. Elakavona ha yira, the Shabbos Kodesh, the the intent of when it says the fear of Shabbos Kodesh, shehi yira, it's a fear, shal metikos for the imos, mi godala habas Hashem, a fear of the sweetness and the, the, the pleasure that you get from the love of Hashem and the, 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 the fear that shalot tif gam chas v'shalom ahav avanom ha'shem so that the fear that you shan't, you shan't do anything to interfere with the love between you and, and Hashem and the pleasure of Shabbos. L'zeh zochim rak b'Shabbos and this you only merit on Shabbos. Now, I love this song, and I, I, I found, I, I just want to play this, this song from the uh, Hasidi Karlin. Uh, just listen to, the, listen to the intent with which this song is, with which this song is, is sung. It's sung by a number of, a number of people. Uh, no, it's just a bunch of uh, Karlin and Hasidim, but it's beautiful, so let me play it. You can follow the words if you want. You can follow the words of the mirrors. Second paragraph. Third paragraph.
Last paragraph. Don't let, the, don't let the pronunciation frighten you. <laughs> <laughs> they changed all the Ritzonecha, Biskulatecha, to Ritzoneinu, Biskula and Skulateinu. <coughs> in our, in our, uh, yeah. right. La'am avakshe Ritzoneinu. That one doesn't make sense. It's La'am avakshe Ritzonecha, to say Mitatecha. I think they said Ritzoineinu. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Which is uh, not quite the pronunciation we have, but it's okay. <laughs> but the, the the concept of it, it's, it's a beautiful song. What what they're yeah, but I think they changed, changed it just to make it a nice song. No, 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 no. 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 That's it's an they, amazing nigga. It's, it's an amazing nigga. This is this is from the Carlina. The Carlina. That's a beautiful nigga. The yeah, Rabbi Ram Carlin was sitting with the Magid of Mezrich when he came up with this song. He, he gave this as, as I understand. I'm not sure. I don't sure. know why it's so hard to learn. It is just I've keep heard listening it to this many a million times. times and I, very hard to it's learn. Very hard to learn. It's, not exactly. I mean, it does go over and over. It does, but uh, it's nice to hear right. it. Anyway, we should be zochet to be able to sing all the, Shab the songs of Shabbos and That's to be able to put these concepts together into a great longing to come closer to Hashem with every moment of Shabbos. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. Thank you for joining me. Esteem. Oh,